if you can create a record, you can delete as well. Hello and welcome back. My name is Afzal and you are watching Flutter Fire series. In the previous videos, we have seen how to fetch record and create a new record inside Firebase database. In today's video, we will see how to delete existing record. For that, first of all, I'm going to implement the swipe feature on my list item so that I can swipe one item at a time and take an action of delete or edit, which is going to be in the later part. So this is totally optional, like you can have a delete operation on a click of a button if you don't want to add package or if you don't want to add slidable, that's totally fine. But I'm going to do with the slidable package. Now I'm going to wrap the list tile, which is my single element in the list view. And I'm going to wrap it with slidable widget. And inside that, I'm going to provide action panel from the end. And as the name suggests, it will show on the end of the screen. Now you can read about the documentation of slidable package and how to use slidable action. There's a whole documentation on pub.dev. I will put link in the description and you will get something like this where you can click on the delete button and we'll write an operation to perform the delete action. Now for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one method which will be responsible of deleting the item. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Now for deleting any record, what you need is the ID of the element. You don't need name. You don't need the quantity. Only thing you require is the ID. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and copy this line of code where we are accessing the collection. And in this collection, we will access the document with the ID and then we will give the command to delete. And that's all you need to do to perform delete operation. And of course you can do some validation whether the record has been deleted on the server or not. What is the success response, failure response and all those things. But let's go ahead and call this method and see whether the records are deleting for the real or not. Now, if you have seen the previous videos, I have already captured all the IDs and name and quantity parameter inside object. So you can easily access the current element and the ID of that. And let's go ahead and try to perform the delete operation. Perfect. And it is working as expected. Let's go ahead and delete one more item. And you can see the records are being updated. You can verify on server as well. You will see the updated records and that's how you perform the delete operation. In the next video, we will see how to update existing records. So make sure to subscribe the channel, hit the like button, and I will see you guys in the next one.